Hello guys, welcome to R Programming Tips. In my previous video, I showed you how to load a map in R Studio, and in this video, we will learn how to mark places or put objects on the Google Map once you have loaded it into R Studio using the packages ggmap and mapproj. So let's load this package first. Mapproj, and I have prepared one file which has the data about Indian cities and their latitude and longitude data so I'm just gonna show you so we have cities Indian cities Agra, Ahmedabad, Allahabad, Amritsar we have states Uttar Pradesh, Gujarat and we have latitude and longitude information about these cities and because I'm gonna plot cities I don't need data about the states so I'm just gonna remove that and to for plotting purposes I'm just gonna use uh, first 10 observations so I'm just gonna delete it and now if I do view you can see I just have first 10 cities and latitude and longitude data. Now I'm going to use get map to load the India map and this time I have also included a little more uh, one more argument from my which I showed you from my previous window and that is source. In source uh, you can provide four different op op uh, options uh, one is Google the other one is OSM statement or cloud map. So I'm just gonna go forward with Google and I want a map type as terrain so let's load the map now once we have uploaded the map let's see if I have got the map here so to check that I use gmap pg and I'm just gonna run this so you can see I have got my India map here uh, in the terrain uh, format and it looks pretty good now uh, I'm gonna use ggmap and while plotting only what I'm gonna do is so basically I want to tell you what ggmap does ggmap uh, function converts your map data into a ggplot object and now when you have this ggplot object uh, you can include layers uh, you, it's not necessary to have this ggplot statement within the ggmap for now uh, it's not necessity but if you do that uh, what happens is that it becomes easy to add layers later on so I'm gonna include while preparing gg, uh, ggmap I'm gonna add this layer and I'm gonna tell that ggplot that I'm gonna use this Indian city so it's not state it's city and I'm get telling that aesthetics X should be logistics uh, uh, longitude and Y should be latitude so let's just run this so you can see that now I have two more values capital PG is also generated with a list of nine let's print this so you see then there has nothing has changed but what has actually happened is that we have got one layer uh, beneath this graph uh, beneath this map and now on that layer I can actually plot my points so I'm just gonna plot the point and I'm gonna uh, give them a color as red so I'm gonna plot geom points and I'm gonna give it color as red and I'm gonna give size of the point as 4 and let's do this and now when I, on the plot there was a layer and on that layer I have put those points and now when I'm gonna print PG you will notice that I have got these red points so you can see that uh, one of the states was Bangalore it is on the map it's just a little uh, sideways because the data data which I have is not very accurate I hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you so much for watching this